and just show a lot of people I'm a lot better than what they think I am and a lot more athletic. I definitely can do it all. You know, I can play the nickel spot, the money spot on third down, free in the strong. If you want me to line up at Mac and we need, you know, to play quarter, I can do it all. I'm going to say that I can come down in the box. I'm going to say that has range. I'm going to say that can go down and lock up your best tight end. So from a safety standpoint, a DB standpoint, I can do it all. It's amazing, man. I miss my defensive teammates, man. I think some of them, you know, need to be here. But, you know, seeing my offensive guys and seeing the guys I was came up with and played with for a while and seeing those guys go out there and do well and perform, man, it means a lot. I have not. Uh, not sure. Not sure. Hopefully I do, though. Definitely from my dad, man, one of the things I learned at an early age is, you know, it's never too early to start being a pro. You got to start being a pro now. So if you want to be a pro, you got to start now. Don't wait till you get to the league. Don't wait till you get to college to act like a college player. You know, do it now. So I, that started at a young age. And then from my uncle, it's just to be mean, nasty, and, and get after the ball and get after everybody, man, and never stop. No matter how high you're up or how low you're down, always play hard and always, you know, impose your will on your opponent. It's definitely a benefit, you know, to be able to do everything out there on the field. That means you know a lot, you know, where your guys got to be up. And, you know, it's always a next man up league. So I, I definitely think that's a great thing that I bring to the table. And I definitely think it's a good thing to have is to be very versatile. Just a minor tough turtle injury that I just had to wait and let that heal up. I met with the Cowboys the other day. I had an informal meeting with them. Nothing with the Texans at all. Very close. You know, me and Roquan, you know, when we had that run to the national championship, we were roommates. We still keep in contact. I've been up to Chicago to visit with him, man. And just being there and playing with him and some of those guys on that team was, was just amazing. And just seeing his work ethic and how he led and some of the things I like to implement in my game. Just enjoy it. You know, he said enjoy it, take it all in, walk around with a smile on your face, man. You're here for a reason. It's amazing, you know, because we all know we're built for it. You know, it's what we talked about, me, him, and Tate Crowder. And I know all of us are going to have a bright future ahead. Kirby Smart, Mel Tucker, Coach Lannon, you know, Coach Shue, Coach Warren, all those guys over there, they have a mindset is to win, and they love football. So, you know, going in every day, working, they always push me to be better. No matter how good I thought I was, how good people thought I was, they always push me to do better, especially Coach Smart, man. He did a great job, gave me that opportunity, and he made me the safety I am today. I'm very proud, man. Me and Lewis go way back, man. He's from Texas. I know his high school coach is my high school coach. And so, you know, I always pull Lewis aside, watch extra film with him like I do with all my guys. But he was my locker mate. He was right next to me, too. So he got a lot of my rippings and, and a lot of me getting onto him and coaching him up all the time. Uh, man, a lot of the defensive senior guys, we had like one of the best defenses in the nation. You got Tyler Clark missing, Tay Crowder missing. You know, you got Michael Barnett, guys like that that played a pivotal role in our defense that need to be here. And, I, you know, they're going to shock the world. They're going to go out and work hard. They're going to do a great job at their pro day, you know, and I believe in all of them. Oh, most definitely. You know, this is the end goal. You want to be here. I'm not done yet. You know, you dream about being here. This is where I want to be. And I'm going to go out here and compete and show everybody why I'm the best safety here. Best memory at UGA has got to be definitely the Rose Bowl. You know, just being part of a game like that 
and, and that atmosphere and being down and then fighting back. I never had a comeback like that in my life. And just have a group of guys rally around each other, brothers. And, and you know, there's nothing really the coaches can say. It's all about the guys in that room. <laughs> uh, my worst for me is not finishing out the championship games, man. You know, not winning the SEC championship this past year, not winning the one the year before, and then not winning that championship game in the national championship. When you lose those games and you work so hard, you know, all the way up to that moment, you put in so much work, and then you look back, you feel like you could have done more, and you, and you just, you know, that, that's that's a bad memory. That's a bad taste in my mouth. Uh, I got a couple of games I like, but I'll, I'll pull from the Notre Dame game this year. You know, I feel like I was firing on all the cylinders. I knew what they were running. I was able to make a lot of plays. I was able to help my teammates, man. And, and that's definitely one of the games I'll pull from. What do you leave behind on that defense, JR? Uh, you talked about Louis Steen. I think they got nine of the 11 true nose starters back on the line. What are your expectations for your program? Well, you guys saw it out there in the Sugar Bowl. You know, there was no drop off. You know, those guys are prepared. I, I taught those guys how to watch film. You know, I left them behind. You know, just, just rules and things they got to follow. You know, the standard has been set in that room. The standard has been set in the defensive room. And so the standard does not change at all. I, my personal goals are to do a lot better than what people think I'm going to do. We're, we're going to see. I'm just going to let you all know. Yeah, you know, I don't know why the expectation expectation has changed. It hasn't changed in my mind. You know, I'm out here. I truly, firmly know that I'm the best safety here. I can do a lot. I can play in the box. I can, you know, like I said before, I can play middle of the field and come down and cover your best tight end. Whatever you want me to do in that secondary, I can do. I really don't know why the expectation has changed, you know, from around the league or, you know, other scouts or writers. You know, who cares what writers say? I've always proved those guys wrong anyway. But for me, the expectation doesn't change, man. The, the bar is set. The standards the same. Uh, my guy from Notre Dame, I covered him. My guy from Mizzou, Pinkney from Vanderbilt, Charlie from, from Charlie Warner from UGA. So yeah, I've, I've covered a couple of the guys here. It's chess. You know, me and him are playing chess against each other all the time. That, that's what it is, man. It's not checkers. You play checkers against him, he's going to eat you up. So it's always a chess game. It's always one guy's got to turn his shoulders this way, one guy don't move too early. And you, you always want to hold your coverages and disguise it for him because he's so smart. I've met with them in informal. It was good. You know, we went over a lot of plays. I really liked that interview. Yeah. Definitely. I, it's definitely an advantage to have, you know, family in the NFL and, and to just lean on them for their expertise. They've helped. My dad has helped me throughout this whole process. Excuse me. Even when I'm at Tulsa, he helped me at that process and at Georgia. And he's helping me now, man. And just to come in, take this all in, look around, be happy. You're here for a reason and, and just walk around with a smile on your face. I have. And informal interviews, uh, it was a good. It was really good. The Bucks, they know Coach Lannon, and you know Coach Lannon shout out to him said some good things about me, man. And that interview went really well. I just told him to make the best decision, you know, whatever's going to make you happy. Because when you make those decisions like that, you don't look back, you don't second guess yourself. So I'm sure he made the best decision for him. And, you know, I wish him the best of luck. He's going to do a great job back there leading those men. They're going to be getting, you know, a guy who plays to the standard, a fast guy who can play all the positions, a smart guy who's going to attack the ball, and, and definitely a leader, man. I met with a position coach. Our meeting was more informal. We really didn't go over a lot of plays. Uh, 
I, I got a couple of them that I like to watch. You know, I, I watch Earl Thomas, Harrison Smith, Tyron Matthew. I like to watch my man Jamal, man. We grew up together, so seeing him do really good and, and, and light up the league, man, is very inspiring. Best receiver we saw this season, uh, you know, we saw Chase Claypool. He did a really good job. He's a big body guy. Uh, definitely the LSU boys, you know, they did a good job. So seeing those guys this year, they, they are really good. I have not. Joe Burrow uh, definitely likes to extend plays, you know. he That's the thing that he's going to get. That's the thing teams are going to get is a guy who never gives up on plays. Ultimate competitor, man. He doesn't give up on anything, and that's the thing that stood out to me. He doesn't talk too much. You know, he's got that team around him. There's LSU brothers that talk for him. He might talk a little crap, but not too much. Most definitely. When the play breaks down, man, it's like he's on fire. He turns it into a bigger play. Yes, sir. So mentally, I'll take it back to my days when I was playing at Georgia. I, I had a, a schedule, a schedule that I wanted to follow, and if I didn't follow it, I wouldn't have a game that I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't like to have. So Mondays, I'm in there watching film, just going over, scouting out the team, seeing what they like to do. Tuesdays, I'm going over the game plan for first and second down, going over that, and then. Uh, Wednesdays, I'm going over third down red area, and then Thursdays, I'm going to go get some sushi, relax, get, relax my mind, take it off football, because Friday's when we have walkthrough, and Saturday's definitely the game. So mentally, I, I got a schedule I got to follow every time. If I don't follow it, I feel off before the game. And then physically, man, uh, the, training at Exos with Brent Calloway and those guys, and training with Clay Mack, man, has, has really prepared me for this situation. And also just doing extra reps, man, doing a little extra pull-ups, extra push-ups, man, and some extra sit-ups, man, just just doing that. Oh, definitely doing some bench press, man. <laughs> We're definitely going to run the ball. I'm, I'm going to tell you that. Now, everything else, I don't know anything about that. I haven't been back to really get, get into the details of the offense, but I can tell you we're going to run the ball. Two. Mel and then Charlton Warren. You could put Kirby slash, you know, secondary coach, but I've had two. Coach Tucker really has prepared me as a, as a player and a man on and off the field. He always pushed me to be better. You know, no matter what, he always pushed me to be better, and he also pushed me to be a better leader. I really learned how to lead from him. And then Coach Warren taught me a lot of technique. It's all about the details with him and little technique things. He did a great job when he came in. A Kirby Smart practice story. Uh, I, was, I wasn't having a good practice. <laughs> and I, it was just actually past year, and Coach Smart told me he would, he, he's going to bench me. So that's one of the best stories I can give you right there. He's, he told me he was definitely going to bench me if I didn't pick up my practice. It was fast. <laughs> I'll put it like that. You, you got to have, you know, you got to be able to run. You got to have your uh, cleats tight. And, you know, Miko has definitely helped me cover a lot of speedy receivers that you see in the slot. Definitely learn you got to get your hands on those guys to be able to run with them. I had a, a brief informal meeting with the Chiefs. I have not. Definitely, me and Riley have a good good relationship, so as me and Javon. I actually was going against Javon with our scout team, so he was the first one to really see me play and the first one to really believe in me and knew that I was going to be able to play and start for Georgia. And then Riley, we always push each other, no matter in workouts, no matter if we're running, no matter if we're playing against each other. We, it was always a competition. You know, when we go against each other, it's always a bloodbath and a battle. Uh, 
Uh, my dad, you know, really been talking to my dad. Uh, he's just been giving me a lot of advice, man. Just telling me I'm, I'm supposed to be here for a reason. You know, I'm here for a reason, man. And, and believing in myself, walking around with a smile on my face, taking this all in, man. And I'm just enjoying it. No doubt. I sincerely believe that. I can put my right hand on the Bible and tell you that. I can do everything you want me to do in that secondary, in that DB position. I'm truly the best safety here. Most definitely. Most definitely, over my three years of playing, Joe Burrow is the best quarterback I have faced. Next defense to start, if he's already not a star, Richard LeCount. And then after him, you got Aziz Ojolari. You got a bunch of guys that are going to step up. You got a great corner in Tyson Campbell and Eric Stokes and, and Malik, Malik Herring and Monty Rice. You got a whole bunch of guys that are stars on that defense, man. I don't think it's going to be a no-name defense anymore. Oh, you, you, got, you got to keep your eyes in the right spots, man, because George is all quick, man. Get your hands on him, man. He, he's very quick and versatile. His speed, man, able to get to the ball, get downhill, man, and, and his range. Not on my team? Ah, oh, man, one of the toughest guys. I got to think. Uh, Anthony Jennings from, he, he was tough. Uh, um, I mean, my, Jawan Jennings, my bad. Tennessee. Yeah, from Tennessee, he was tough. He just he was just running the ball like really hard, you know, and he was very tough. He put it all in line for his team no matter what the score was. And I really admire that, you know, you're getting your butt beat, but you're still going out there playing hard.